All right, hi guys. I wanted to do an update on my last um, GoPro case review. Um, it's been over two years since I did that video, and I wanted to do an update um, since I've added a few new items. So this is my GoPro Pelican case. It's an older IM uh, 2600 Pelican Storm case, and I have the uh, Kaizen from, foam from the Pelican store uh, inside. So let's take a look at it. So. Um, First off, as you can tell, the Kaizen foam consists of one eighth uh, layer thick uh, pieces of foam and they're all uh, laminated together. So you can select the height of each item uh, to make a perfect cutout for it. Um, you can use a razor blade or just a regular knife to cut out each layer and then pick it away with your uh, finger or other device. So going through what's in my case, I have a uh, Memory card case, uh, keeps all my memory cards pretty organized and easy to grab when on the go. I have my original Hero 2, Hero 4 Silver, uh, some accessories, the frame, all the batteries that are easily accessible. Um, you can pull them out. I usually try to keep them all charged and same thing, keep my memory cards clear. That way on the go I can always know that I'm ready and I don't have to charge or uh, reformat anything. I have some more accessories up on top, uh, the thumb screws. Uh, GoPole makes some really good accessories. Go check their website out. Um, I'm really happy with all of them. Uh, Joby tripod, pretty universal. I think most people probably have one. Uh, they're just so easy to use and you can literally put them anywhere. Um, my, what I bought earlier this year is the uh, G4S uh, Feiyutech uh, 3-axis gimbal. This is their most updated one. Um, pretty impressed with it. Um, I like to use it when I go hiking and stuff. You get some pretty cool steady shots with it. Um, so hopefully I have more videos to come in the future with that. So since there's multiple layers in here, um, under that first layer I have some more accessories. Head strap, helmet strap, the different backing. I have um, the cables and chargers, uh, wall outlets, suction cup. Chargers for the GoPro batteries, chargers for the Feiyutech batteries, some more GoPro accessories, um, the bobber for when I'm in the water uh, wakeboarding or just boating. I have the arm, which is great for uh, getting uh, views back on yourself, like if you're riding a motorcycle or something. And then on the very bottom layer, I just have my GoPro. Um, I believe it's a 36 inch extension pole. So that's pretty much it for the case. I have a little bit room for expansion over here in the corner for down the road, but otherwise I'm starting to fill it out. Um, the reason I like this case, I know it's kind of large for a GoPro case, but um, in my opinion, I like a case where I can go grab it on the go and I know everything's in it that I'll need for an activity or shoot or something. Um, I know the batteries are charged. I know all the memory cards are in here. I don't have to go thumbing through a crate or a box or anything to find the accessories I need. They're all in here. And then also, um, this isn't ideal for hiking and stuff. If you're on the go, you're not going to want to lug this around with you. So by taking this, you can just kind of grab out what you need. If you need a GoPro, if you need a battery, you need a um, memory card, say you need a thumb screw, and say your tripod, well, throw that in a backpack and you're good to go. And when you get back, you throw everything back in and you know where everything is. That's the best thing about this. And with the white background, with the contrast color, you can see if anything's missing really easily. So it kind of helps you keep inventory and keep track of all your GoPro gear because, um, as you guys know, you can build up a lot and uh, sometimes you lose stuff. So hopefully this will help. Um, if you like the video and if you like the case or have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below in the uh, comment section. and. I'd be more than happy to help you guys set up your own case or give you any tips or uh, ideas on how to create your own or if you have any questions how I built this one. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.